Alex, Monica, listen carefully. Griffin's palace is back on the ground. This is our last chance to take him out. It's up to you to repair the history which Griffin has perverted. This is the final chapter. Okay, get going. Go and make a brighter future for all of us. Yes, Mother. Leave Griffin to us! Chapter 7, Palace of Flowers. with Cyrus inside the Moonflower Palace, have you not? Cyrus? Do you mean Griffin? Please, don't blame Cyrus. I really hope you are able to see the child's true form. Who are you? I am the ruler of the palace, Alexandra. Cyrus has not yet realized what his role in life is, and neither have you two. Cyrus and I shared many memories in this garden. They are all still hidden here. If this garden could change back to the way it used to be, the child may remember everything again. Please, open up your hearts and see for yourselves the truth hidden here in the castle. There is a clue in the first room. Please, go and win back Cyrus's memories. If you do, I'm sure Cyrus will. I beg of you. I wonder what she meant. A clue in the first room. Anyway, let's keep going. Alexandra. Yeah, what about her? 
She said there was a clue in the first room, right? Well, the first room is this hall. Look, Monica. This looks like the palace garden, but there's no flower bed like that out there. The pictures in this hall must show how the palace was long ago. So maybe what she meant was for us to return the palace garden back to what it used to be like, like in these pictures. I'm sure that's the way to uncover the secret about Griffin in this palace. I bet you're right. It couldn't hurt to try. Uncovering Griffin's secrets, huh? Sounds good. Let's do it. All right. 